Okay guys, so today's video I'm going to show you the basic things you need for any laparoscopic case. You cannot start any laparoscopic case without these things, so let's start. Sometimes you're going to need a bovie depending on the case. Most of the time, you do, and some cases you don't. For example, for lap coli, sometimes you don't need a bovie. Because typically they would use this cord right here. This is the cord for the laparoscopic bovie, and the one that they use sometimes. Is this micro line and this is usually hooked up with either a scissor or um, a bolt L hook right so I'm just gonna put this on really quickly this is what the surgeon uses for the uh, laparoscopic bowel case so this is gonna go like this right so this acts like a bovi but laparoscopic since you're gonna go through the, the trocars and then this this is what makes it hack that's what we call in or make it hack okay so you just plug this in and then you throw this off to the nurse and she's gonna plug it into the bovi so essentially this is the bovi the laparoscopic um, part of the case right so there's that you're gonna need a great cord obviously you need a suction right Sometimes in the beginning, when you are making the incision, sometimes they like the suction to suck off the plume, and sometimes it bleeds. If the patient is thick, you know, um, they like to have the suction. So I like to put that. Most important thing is your insufflation tubing. So this is what it looks like. This is what goes to your circulator. This is going to hook up to our towers okay this kind of heavy so kind of so they hook this in and it's gonna hang and then this is where all the air would come in to insufflate the abdomen so that it lifts up so why do you need to expand the belly it's because we need to see in there if you can see when it's flat and you put the trocars in it there's not enough space, so we use insufflation tubing to insufflate the belly. So it blows up like this, and then we have more um, space to look at and to work on. So it's like this, and it hooks up to one of these. We talked about this in my other video. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. So it hooks up to this, and then you just twist it, okay? And when this is already hooked up like that, you want to open the valve so that the insufflation would go through in here and then in this shaft and inside the belly to insufflate the belly. Okay, to remove it, you just twist it and then I just lock that in. Again, insufflation tubing. Next is your camera and your scope. Did I say the same thing? I feel like that's the same thing. Sorry, this is the light cord, right? This could be tricky which one you're gonna pass up to your nurse. Um, some people, they say that the indicator is the red thing here. Not really, I don't really trust that because I've had a red thing where, where it was over here and this is not supposed to be passed off. So let me show you the tips to see the difference, right? So here are the tips. This goes to your nurse, and this is for you. Why? Because it has this thing that will hook up to the camera, okay? Now I'll show you here. The surgeon uses a five millimeter, 30 degree. How do you know it's 30 degree? Well, first it says it, and second it's a little slanted here. See how it's slanted? Okay, so this goes here and then you just twist it, okay? Boom, done, that is the light cord. It attaches to it. It does not attach to the other one, you see? That's one way to check which one to pass off to your nurse, okay? So there's that, and then your scope. This is your scope, okay? This goes to the nurse, and then this is for you. Couple things. White balance, P, I don't know what that P stands for. I don't, I never used the P, maybe program. 
but white balance is the one that you hold to white balance the, the scope. This is like to sharpen the image, you just twist it, and this kind of goes like this. This is where the scope goes into. So you press it, and then you just put it in. Okay, it should click a little bit. Okay, and then you put the light cord. That's how you set up the scope, okay? Some surgeon likes this thing to be up and some surgeons like it to be down. I always just have it up and then they'll figure it out on their own. And then the, um, once everything is passed off to the nurse, all you have to do is white balance it. A light will shine onto here and you just follow the instructions on the machine and then you are good to go. And that is how you set up a basic laparoscopic case. These are your super basic stuff. And again, if you haven't checked out my, my book, all of this are written on there. I just wanted to show you guys in real life what it looks like. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.